probably the one person and the catalyst that has the community in mind all the time that can make a difference. And uh, I just believe Novak is ready for someone that's uh, homegrown and has the community in mind first all the time. Uh, the, the, the fact of the matter that so many nonprofits are having problems right now, uh, they need somebody that's truly uh, interested in their well-being. My top three priorities would be to uh, create an a, uh, environment of transparency in the government, which I have come to real our, our administration, which I have come to realize is basically almost non-existent. Uh, uh, definitely addressing the crime uh, situation in Norwalk and the rise in crime, which has been dramatic. Uh, 1.9, from what I understand, the stats are 1.9 percent down, and we're up 26 yeah. percent. A, a third priority would probably be uh, God, because there's a couple priorities here. Uh, one being my, an involvement in education. Uh, like I said, a partnership with uh, different people, and there's a, that's also another. Precedent. But I'd also like to uh, investigate the the. Uh, Tax, tax and reval situation, which uh, which one of the things I'll mention is, is there's a lack of foresight here because things were not phased in. And my most important vote as a councilman was to vote no on the Waypoint project uh, because that affected uh, the bonding uh, limit of the city. I don't believe that, uh, I don't believe that we should bond the city for a record amount, 104 million or whatever it was, uh, when the previous amount, I believe the record before that was in the high 20s for the Maritime Center, which was well worth it because it was an educational center. It, they give back to the community. It's the number two, I believe, educational uh, destination for people in the state of Connecticut. So that is something that is a jewel of Norwalk and I am completely in support of. Do you want me to go? Uh, I was born and raised in Norwalk, which I think is very important. Uh, my mom spent most of her youth in Norwalk, uh, between here and uh, coming from New York City. Um, she was born in Canton, Ohio. Uh, being born in Norwalk, I went through the public school system in Norwalk. I played sports uh, all through my life and in uh, high school I was members of various clubs. I did a lot of community service projects at a young age uh, through the Boy Scouts, which I was heavily involved in. At, uh, came back from college and uh, got into the banking business for a couple years. Uh, went through a management program, worked for Norwalk Savings Society. And uh, then I migrated to what a lot of people uh, they grow up in my culture do, and that's uh, the restaurant business. Put my resume together, went uh, into the uh, public schools, uh, resource, uh, human resources, and said I'd like to substitute teach to see if, uh, if it was something I was interested in doing. So uh, after a few weeks, God, it wasn't even that long, maybe three weeks of substitute teaching, I was offered a permanent position as a sixth grade math teacher at Nathan Hale. Another year rolled by and I said, you know, I'm going to substitute teach. I was still coaching at Brian McMahon. So again, I did it. And again, I wound up with a permanent position. But this time, um, it was kind of known that I worked well with kids that had a little bit more, that had more needs. And this is how I slowly progressed to what I'm doing. I was uh, selected to be an eighth grade resource teacher, which was helping kids that needed help the most. I was coaching high school ball. I was coaching my kids' sports teams because it was two different sports. I was in the middle at Briggs School working with kids that needed a lot of help. And I was teaching adults English. So I had all these hats on. I could have been making a lot more money in the last 10 years, and this you can quote me in, doing something else in the private sector. But I decided to make one-fifth of what I make so that I can help kids and help the community because I believe in Norwalk and I want this to be a place where I want to continue living. So there is no, uh, there's no partisan politics as far as I'm concerned with me ever. Now you have to remember, above all, I'm not a politician. I'm just a person who cares about Norwalk more than anything else. And that's exactly why I'm in this position today.